The next three titles are from the collection arranged by John Levitt, entitled A Mighty Fortress. The selections are A Mighty Fortress is Our God, I Am Jesus' Little Lamb, Sent Forth by God's Blessings.
O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. From the small catechism, the article, the Apostles' Creed first article, He defends me against all danger, and guards and protects me from all evil. Our devotional reading is from Reflections on Easter by Higher Things for April. Life is dangerous. We do not really like to talk about it, but it feels like there is danger around every corner. The most insidious danger, however, is evil, or what Paul refers to as unrighteousness in Romans 1.18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. It is true that God's wrath will be revealed on the last day when the Lord judges all people, but the wrath of God is revealed now too. This is a both and. How do we see it? We see it in all the pain and trouble that is caused by the evil that is here and now. This evil in the world is both progressive, it gets worse, and contagious, it spreads like a virus. But God in his mercy has done something about it. That is, there is something else that has been revealed for the here and now, namely the power of the gospel. It is the righteousness of faith as the gift of our faith holds to Jesus. This is the power of God unto salvation for all who believe. Romans 1. You have Christ now, baptized Christian, and to have Christ is to have the one who has conquered and conquers all evil. When faith seizes Jesus, holds to him like crazy, then Jesus' life becomes ours. He becomes our covering and shield, and he becomes our defender against all evil in this world. This is not a cosmic battle between equal forces. No, Jesus has already conquered. He is our champion, and he is our warrior against evil. He has all power and authority, and Satan, in the face of Jesus, has none. Yes, there is danger on every corner, but while holding to Christ and his righteousness for you through faith in him, you have nothing to worry about. In Jesus' name, amen. The hymn, I Walk in Danger All the Way, 716, from Lutheran Service Book, goes like this. I walk in danger all the way, the thought shall never leave me, that Satan, who has marked his prey, is plotting to deceive me. This foe with hidden snares may seize me unawares, if I should fail to watch and pray. I walk in danger all the way. I walk with Jesus all the way, his guidance never fails me. Within his wounds I find a stay, when Satan's power assails me. And by his footsteps led, my path I safely tread. No evil leads my soul astray. I walk with Jesus all the way. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body, and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We'll be live streaming next from the church, Faith Lutheran Church, Columbus, Indiana, on Sunday morning at 9 a.m., where we have in-person services, and also on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. The Lord bless your day.